Okay, team, now step three is a little more involved in the first two steps, but we can handle it, right? Okay, now this is the installation of the kingpin, and it's gonna take some sub-assembly in order to install the front and rear axles. So we're gonna need the contents of the kingpin bag and the front and rear axles. Break, go give me some axles. Okay. okay. I'm cracking the whip on you too. In the bag, you will find quarter inch flat washers, quarter inch nuts, quarter inch nylock nuts, also known as your kingpin nuts, quarter inch by three and a quarter inch gold colored kingpins, quarter inch by three and a quarter inch machine bolts, quarter inch by two inch flat washers, quarter inch by one and a quarter inch fender washers, and three eighths inch bushings. Let's get started on the bushing sub assembly. First place a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch fender washer on a silver machine bolt. Then place the bushing with a flat end against the fender washer on the machine bolt. Now insert the assembly through the top of the floorboard with the beveled end of the bushing against the floorboard until the bolt extends through the opposite side of the king pin location. Next, place a fender washer on the machine bolt against the floorboard and install a quarter inch nut on the machine bolt. Use your wrench to tighten the machine bolt assembly until the bushing ends are flush with the floorboard. Like this. When that's done, remove the nut from the machine bolt and the fender washers and repeat all of these steps for the second king pin bushing location. Now be sure to save the machine bolt, the washers, and the quarter inch nut because you're going to be using those again in step six. So keep an eye on it. Okay, we're ready to do the king pin sub assembly. Start by placing a quarter inch by two inch flat washer, that's the big washer, on the gold king pin bolt. Then insert this assembly through the bottom of the floorboard at the front axle location and press it through the floorboard. After that, put a flat washer on the king pin, then put a fender washer on top of the two inch flat washer. Now put a quarter inch flat washer on top of the fender washer. Okay, now you're gonna wanna identify the front axle for this step. Now the front axle has two pre-drilled holes in either end, whereas the rear axle only has one pre-drilled hole in each end, making them easy to identify. Place the front axle on the quarter inch flat washer. Then put the two quarter inch flat washers on top of the axle. Install a quarter inch nylock nut called the king pin nut and tighten the whole assembly. Install a second nylock nut on the front king pin assembly. All right, look at that. That's what your front king pin assembly should look like. Now just repeat these steps for the rear. The only difference is you're only gonna use one nylock nut on the back. Looking good. And here's how the complete kingpin rear assembly should look. 